All right, in this lesson we're doing 1.7, analyzing puzzles and games. And this is what it looks like in your textbook. And what we're going to do is we're going to explore this game right here because this uh, is part of your very first question in your assignment. And basically it says, to solve the leapfrog puzzle, colored counters are moved along a space on a board. The goal is to move each of the colored counters to the opposite side of the board. And so what happens is one counter gets moved and then the other one can jump over top of it like this. And so we need to get from the original position here to this one right here. And so what I've done is I've found uh, a little video on YouTube here for us. Uh, shout out to Techie Information. Uh, I'm just going to put this to full screen. I'm just going to play this. And you see what happens. The frogs jump. So that's two spots there. That's two moves. And so this one right here, that one's going to move. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That's it. Okay? So that's how many moves it takes to move them across with three. So if we go back to our textbook here, um, this the question is how many moves would it take with five? What I would suggest is you do this puzzle, and again, this is a hands-on sort of section. Do this puzzle with four counters and see how many moves it takes you to move all the counters from one side to the other. Then do it with five. And in this way, you will be using inductive reasoning to solve question number one. So the question number one in your assignment says, in the leapfrog puzzle, what would be the minimum number of moves needed to exchange 10 red counters with 10 blue? You do not have to do that. What's the, the expectation is that you use inductive reasoning to come up with a pattern, all right? So you will be able to find how many moves it takes when you do the three counter game, the four counter game, and the five counter game, and then you'll be able to find out what the connection is with the number of counters and the number of moves. There is a mathematical relationship. For example, you know, two times the number of counters plus three equals the number of moves, something like that. That's not the one, but that's what you need to try and figure out um, what that uh, algebraic sort of relationship is there. Okay? So that's 1.7. The key ideas, the summary is both inductive and deductive reasoning are useful to determine strategies for um, solving puzzles or winning games. Okay, And this number one definitely is uh, inductive reasoning. Do a few trials, recognize a pattern, apply that uh, to a larger, larger problem. Here's the textbook questions. If you, are, if you do not have a textbook, here you go, these are the questions.